you for viewing uh, this video. I want to talk to you today about God being our refuge. You know, in Psalms 46, verse 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. You know, He is our refuge in the good times and in the bad times, in the critical times. The times of crisis are, are the times of devastation, uh, our pain, brokenheartedness, uh, sickness or disease. He is our refuge. And the word refuge means a covering, a safe place. And I am here this, this day in front of this beautiful covered bridge uh, at the Watson Mill Bridge State Park in Comer, Georgia. You know, this is a beautiful spot. And this covered bridge reminds me of the covering that we have when we know Jesus. When He is our Lord and Savior, He protects us. He becomes our covering. You know, and it says in Psalms 59, 16, uh, I'm going to be in Psalms for a few, a few moments here because King David knew that God was his refuge and God was his strength and God was his rock. And also in Psalms 59, it says that he is our defense. You know, you do not have to defend yourself. If you're in a situation today... You do not have to, where persecution has come or, or a, uh, an attack has come, you do not have to defend yourself because Jesus is our defender. God will defend you. Hallelujah. Through the Word and through the Spirit of God. You know, in Psalm 67, uh, 62, 7, it says that God is my salvation, my strength, and my refuge. Hallelujah. And you know, and I looked at that word uh, salvation. And you know, salvation is not just to, uh, to know that you've got a, a ticket to heaven. Uh, salvation is uh, if there's sickness in your body, being saved from that sickness. If you've got a broken heart, being saved from the broken heartedness. If you need uh, financial help. It's salvation uh, in your finances. Salvation in your marriage. Uh, it is salvation. Uh, it just continues on and on and on. God is our refuge. He is our safe place. That's what refuge means. Uh, a place uh, that you can get uh, away from the storm and the, the trials and the tribulations of life and, and uh, hard times. You can come under the covering. I could go under the covering of this bridge and the rain would not hit me and the winds would not blow me away because it would be a safe place, a refuge. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. You know, I want to turn to uh, Psalms 91, which is one of my favorite passages in the Bible and also my husband's uh, favorite passage. In verse 1 it says, who, He who dwells in the shelter underneath that covering of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Oh, that is so good. That is good news to me. And it should be good news to you. If you're going through a trial, a tribulation, uh, there are storms all around you raging, this should be good news to you that God is your safe place. He is your refuge. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in whom I trust. King David was saying, I know that I may go through uh, these uh, situations, but God is going to protect me. God is going to be my defense. God is going to be my rock that I can stand on. And I cannot be moved by by the circumstances or the situation around me. Oh, this is so good. I thank the Lord. I don't know if it's ministering to you, but I know it's ministering to me today. God is my refuge. God is my strength. A very present help, help in trouble. Therefore I will not fear, though the earth 
be removed and the be cast into the midst of the sea. Praise the Lord for that for that that little chorus that came up in me today. That uh, that God is our refuge and our strength and a mighty fortress to us. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to pray for you today. I want to pray that you will, if you're not under the covering. Of, of the mighty God that you will accept Jesus today. <coughs> you will allow Him to be your covering and your refuge, your safe place that you can run into the, the, the Word of God and you can find your answers right here in the Word. And by the Spirit of God, I speak. Uh, there are three women that are watching today. I speak uh, that that rheumatoid arthritis be dried up, that your joints are healed in the name of Jesus. Just receive that. That's a word from the Lord, uh, that those joints are healed. I speak to uh, the disc in the at the top of the, of the spinal cord and at the bottom, that they be healed in Jesus' name, that backs and muscles be healed in Jesus' name, that toes and feet be uh, that the pain will will go away and that God will come in and be your your safe place and your healer uh, today. I thank you so much for watching uh, this video and may you receive from the Lord today and let him be your safe place. God bless you.